Okay, the purpose of this one is to compare a couple of relays that are, uh, the first two are identical, and the only difference is the voltage of the coils. Now, I've had people comment that the size of the wire doesn't make any difference, it makes up the coils. It does make a difference because the different voltages use different coils. The uh, lower voltage, and these are all AC, the lower voltages are all larger wire. The higher the voltage of the coil, the smaller the wire and of course the longer the length. That increases resistance. Not talking about impedance here, we're just talking about resistance. And so a bigger or a higher voltage coil will always have smaller wire, smaller diameter wire and longer wire. Okay, if you look at this one, this is a 24 volt relay, AC relay. Now, I put the ohm reader on this. We're just reading ohms. We're not doing anything else here. And you'll notice that we are 11.3 ohms. And look closely at this coil. Mostly I want you to look at the size of the wire. The size of the wire and the length of the wire that's wrapped around it to provide the resistance in the circuit. Now let's try something a little different. Now here we have another comparison. This is a 120 volt relay. Identical relay to the last ones we saw, but the coil voltage is 120. So you have 400 ohms. Let's look close, close at the coil. Now you can see the size of the wire is a lot smaller than the 24 volt one. Reason being, you need more resistance to get the proper amount of power going through this coil to energize the uh, relay but not burn up the coil. So in order to get that, instead of that 11.3 or 8 or whatever it was for 24 volts, we've got 400. Okay, the last one of these I'm going to show you is the potential relay uh, off of the starting circuit of a 240 volt compressor. It's 8.77 kilo ohms. So why is this so high? Because it operates a much, much higher AC voltage. Much higher voltage. Uh, on the order of around 380 to 400 volts because it works off back EMF. But it's just, this whole thing has just been about relays relay coils and what it takes to make a coil energize but not burn up. If I put any of these things, if I took a, an AC 24 volt uh, relay and hooked 120 volts to it, it would burn it up. It would close but it would burn it up. Have way too much power going through it and it would burn the wires up. So these things are all going to have different types of wire on the coils and they're matched up so that they will work with whatever voltage and whether it's DC or AC. I hope this thing made some sense. That's it on this one.